In December, we have an additional salary in Italy. Most, I think addition? everybody. What's additional mean? We call 13th because 12 months, so we have the 13th salary in December. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. You get this 13th month, this imaginary month that you didn't work. Yes. And then you get another month, another salary during the month of December. Um, like, like that what? Is paid ten percent more? Uh, no, no, twenty. No, a full salary. So you get two months' pay for one month of work. Yes. Why? Your regular pay is to pay the monthly bills. What money do you have left over to go on vacation? That's the way the Italians see it. What good's a vacation if you can't afford to go on it? Welcome to Kermit Uncut. There are two very different new documentaries currently playing in UK cinemas. One of them is by Michael Moore. It's called Where to Invade Next. And the theory is that Michael Moore goes to all these countries like France and Italy and Germany to find out which ideas he can take back to the US. The other is called Fire at Sea, directed by Gianfranco Rossi. And this is a film about the Sicilian island of Lampedusa. And the interesting thing about the films is that they both have points to make about subjects which are very contemporary and very important, but they do so in very different ways, specifically to do with the existence of a narrative voice. Now, in the case of the Michael Moore film, Moore himself is in the movie, as indeed he is in all his films, like Fahrenheit 9-11 and Bowling for Columbine. The story is that he goes to all these countries under the comic conceit of invading them to steal their ideas. So he goes along with an American flag and he speaks to people about workers' rights and paid holidays and having workers on the board of governors of companies, all of which incidentally are things that I think are really, really good ideas. And then he theatrically plants an American flag, the gag being that because he's an American, he is invading these places. And the strange thing that I found about the film was although I had agree with so many of the ideas it discusses. I find many of the themes that it addresses really, really significant. Equal rights for women will be better for everybody. I agree with this. I found Michael Moore's presence kind of annoying, kind of gurning, kind of irritating, kind of unnecessary. Now, compare that with Fire at Sea, which is a documentary about life on this island. We have a young boy, Samuel, and his family are a seafaring family. He has to learn to overcome his seasickness. He also has a lazy eye, so he has to start wearing an eye patch so that his other eye sort of learns to see better, which becomes very important. At one scene in the film, we see him suffering from what he thinks is anxiety, and he's treated by a doctor. Now, that same doctor also has to deal with the terrible human cost of the current migration crisis, people arriving in states of malnutrition, dehydration, terrible sickness, many more never making it, drowning, suffocating, suffering appalling burns from the fuel of the overcrowded boats on which they're travelling. And the film does a brilliant job of making this crisis seem real and immediate and tangible. Reviewing the film in The Guardian, Peter Bradshaw said, I felt I learned more from this film than from the nightly TV news. And I agree with that, absolutely. It really was a film which made this terrible crisis seem urgent and immediate and something which you could understand. You know, watching these two movies side by side with Michael Moore on the one hand telling us what to think in Where to Invade Next and Gianfranco Rossi just standing back and showing us the situation was one of those cases in which I really thought in this instance, silence is golden. Your position. 33, yes. 5, 1, 18, 32.